northern coast of the United States, apparently. That's unfortunate, but it means that I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be streaming alone. As much as I will miss Nick, uh, never forget that uh, I also enjoy these solo streams because it gives me the chance to play the games that when I propose oh, them to Nick, he goes yeah. like, Oh, I don't know about that. Like GeoGuessr, which we'll be playing in our middle section, and then of course Spelunky, or maybe just more GeoGuessr at the end. And of course, we're starting with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth as well. Uh, Stephen421421, I think it was. Thank you very much for the subscription. All right, yeah, raise your lonely boys. We're gonna get started here before the disease that apparently has killed all of my co-streamers kills me as well. All right, new run, and uh, I'm trying to think. Do we want to do an Eden run, or do we want to do a? Um, I have 50 Eden tokens, that's a lot. Or do we want to do an Isaac run, or do we want to do a random run? I can't bring back Egg Cam yet, because we had dropped frames on, on Monday, so I I don't know if it actually worked. I'm not going to do hard mode. Eden, Azazel, don't be silly with that Azazel stuff. Um, Eve, no. Eden, Eden, Eden. Okay, a lot of people seem to want to see an Eden run. We might be able to, if we get a good run, we might even be able to fit in two Eden runs in an hour. That's how confident I am today. You guys, oh my god, we started with a freaking goat head. That is amazing. So here's your seed. GNZF1GYC. Starting with the goat head means we're going to get one extra deal with the devil automatically. And we get to get rid of the butter bean right away, which is sweet because the butter bean sucks. But uh, additionally, shoot the whoop is terrible as well. So I'm not loving it right now, but um, wait, we have no HP or we're on Curse of the Unknown? It has to be Curse of the Unknown. My shot speed and tears are terrible, but it's all worth it for the goat head if we can make it work. By the way, you guys are uh, you guys are in for a treat. I'll show you the seed again, and people um, can maybe copy it down and be nice enough to share it with others. Um, you guys are in for a treat. I recorded a run today. It'll probably be like two days before it goes up, but it's really, really good. When you see a run and it's, it starts with Kane, know that you guys are in for a treat. It's a run that has some synergy that I have never seen before. Not with the tears, but with an active effect, and is... Uh, it's got a lot of swings in it, let's put it that way. There you go, Luke's got the seed. Alright, let's see here. So, my my dream for this floor is that uh, I end up getting a deal with the devil, which should be very likely, well, literally, like, impossible to not work unless I die. Also, I just realized I had Mom's toenail, and then we get a good item, and I guess I'll take it no matter what it is, and we'll see. Is the Edmund stream still on tonight? Yes. Yes, it is. We're going to talk uh, expansion ideas, community feedback from Rebirth, you know, what people want to see changed, what people want to see added, and stuff like that. So that'll be at uh, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a.k.a. five hours from now, right here. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, uh, we might want to drop the toenail sometime soon. What do you mean you don't get the devil room? I'm going to get the devil room. I got uh, the goat head. Don't you uh, worry your pretty little head. We're gonna get into the devil room thanks to the goaty head. Doesn't really make any sense, but hey, there's your requisite, you know, reference to the hangover one here. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I guess I'll just say, hey, thanks for uh, joining me here on the Northern Lion Live solo stream. You know, I, I, I don't get intimidated by a three hour solo stream. People do this like eight hours a day. Kate streams all the time solo. Ooh, yeah. I, I enjoy my own company. I'm a bit of an introvert that way. I like having, uh, Time to myself, and I like being able to have a three hour conversation here, plus a little bit more uh, chat interaction, perhaps. Weary Angel, by the way, thank you very much for the subscription. First floor, no devil room without TP. You guys are gonna feel real freaking silly in just a minute here, because there will definitely be a, uh, a deal with the devil on this floor. I don't know if I've ever had the goat head on the first. I'm going to need to uh, take a little bit of a break here. <laughs> Okie dokie. Good, uh, goodbye. Do you want to restart? You know what? Let's just restart this stream. I didn't realize that we only had one HP on this run. That's kind of bad. I was going to say restart the game, not restart the stream, by the way. That is hilarious. All right. Bad start. Uh, the stream's starting five hours from now. The, the, the Rebirth expansion stream. All right, I'll tell you what, we're going to do a new run here. I'll be Eden again. There goes one of my goddamn 50 Eden tokens. What am I made out of Eden tokens? Now we start with how to jump, and uh, is this Revenge Fly? I think it's Revenge Fly, and a sweet haircut. There's your seed. 8-W-L-S-Y-C-C-R. And our first item room is going to be little Steven. 
I need to know. How the fuck, and I apologize for my language, how the hell do you, um, get regular Steven? Is it really just a numbers game? I have tried so many times to kill uh, little Steven first and then regular Steven last and see if that helps out. Doesn't really seem to do shit. I just get little Steven every time. Plus, I get little Steven from bosses that aren't even little Steven or that aren't even Steven to begin with. It's one of the items I need to get, uh, you know, Platinum God. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, but it is the truth. Um, and I, I just can't seem to get it. Apparently, it's just a numbers game. God dang. That and like a third and fourth level Meat Boy. Just, you know, kiss your knights goodbye while you farm oh, that shit up, I yeah. guess. Don't cross the solo stream. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Hey, you guys already know the math. It's a one in six chance for Steven. That's not so bad. All right, now I get to prove um, my love for the dingle. That didn't come out the way I intended it to come out. All right. Every time that now I, I draw attention to the fact that um, I think Dingle's pretty easy, I take damage against him. But I really shouldn't be taking damage against him because he's easy as hell. NL, you have to hold R to reroll little Steven. Is that... So there was a video that I saw posted on the subreddit that I didn't check out. But um, I, I saw the title and it was like, Soda Popinski gets... Uh, or so not Soda Popinski. Soda Poppins gets trolled by his Twitch chat. Did he have a great run and then chat convinced him to hold R to do something? Man, that's uh, that's sad for him, I guess. At least he didn't delete his system 32. And... Wow. Alright, we've had some good luck today, clearly. Holding R restarts the run. This is the truth. There's two things you should know about Twitch chat. One of them is... Uh, never trust anything they say. The other one is R restarts your run. When is... A demon streaming and where? A, a demon? Or is that supposed to, Oh, it's probably Edmund. I'm not even trying to, to like, poke fun at it. I was just actually confused about what they meant by a demon. I was like, Jesus, this is a, I know Twitch had Steve Aoki on recently, but if they got an actual corporeal form of a hellfire demon, they've really stepped their game up in the promotions department. I mean, Steve Aoki's a pretty big name, but a literal demon from hell itself? That would be remarkable. That would get national news attention, I'm sure. Hold R to get a deal with the devil. I already know the I know the joke, chat. You can't get me. You gotta take that to another streamer. I don't know if I've ever actually held R on a run. The only time I've accidentally restarted my run is when you go to this situation and then you like in vanilla, if you like hit spacebar again, it's like, are you sure you want me to die? Then you just hit spacebar again and you die, and you're like, well, I'm an idiot. Accidentally happens on occasion at least. That's a pretty lucky uh drop for us there in the form of that dime. I gotta admit, I'm liking this seed a lot less than the last one. I know the last one killed us, but still. I was so excited to have the goat head. Now I'm liking it a little bit more, because we do have Death's Touch. Um, you know, I suppose there might be some spoilers here, if you guys are, uh, just disregard the fact that you're seeing this item. The Waka Waka Challenge, still totally open. Still, I have not defeated it yet, of course. Remember when he had goat head? Hey, remember when Bobby Boucher came back at halftime and the Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl? That's the only thing you need to remember, mister. Wow, fucking spoilers. Yeah, sorry. This is the first time I've actually had the scythes uh, outside of $3 bill, though, so I'm kind of excited about it. Hopefully we end up getting a bomb so I can actually... Oh, t revenge! Hopefully we end up getting a bomb so I have a pretty good chance to um, get to that secret room. I'll probably still check out the shop regardless. What do you guys like, uh, what's your favorite blank card synergy? Because I gotta admit, I had one today, I was so pissed off. I had blank card and then credit card showed up. So I was like, GG, right? Then I got no deals with the devil, and credit card does work on deals with the devil. And then all of my shop items were like, do you want the jar? And I'm like, no, I don't want the, well, I mean, I'll take it because it's free, basically, but I don't want the jar. So I ended up getting nothing out of it. But then I got blank card and slot machine, or uh, Wheel of Fortune, and everything on the chest became all right. All right, everyone says chaos card, chaos card, that's fair. You know what, I'm going to be a little crazy. Because we are become death destroyer of worlds, I am going to uh, take ghost baby, destroyer of dreams. It's not very good, but it does give us deal with the devil precedent anyway. Uh, let's check out what we got in here. Well, I'm not going to be too sore if we don't manage to buy anything useful here. 
We have no bombs. I will go into our curse room. What is so good about the scythes? Uh, I think it's a damage up and they're penetrative, so they're kind of like uh, Cupid's arrow, so they go through enemies. All right, I'm done with this floor. I'm not too salty about it. Is there anything I need to jump over? Like, I could jump over and get this chest, I guess, if I really didn't play, played my cards right. Yeah. All right. And I think that was really the only consumable. There's like a battery down there, but I don't want anything to do with that. Ghost Baby is like an old dog at the pound. OMG, someone finally took me. Magressa, that makes me sad, man, to think about old animals at the pound, you know? But, uh... You, you're not necessarily wrong. I think Ghost Baby is, is tickled pink to finally have a use. It is... You, I think you could probably argue that Ghost Baby is maybe like the worst, uh item on a deal with the devil. It's the only item I could ever think that you'd find out like it let's ignore the fact that on challenges maybe it might be useful like challenges where you can't fire tears. It's the only item you could that could never like save your run and is also passive, I think. Like you would never want to take it as far as I'm concerned. And I'll please explain your distaste for Rodden Baby. I would love to know. You should watch some recent episodes, man. I, I actually uh, I've come around on Rodden Baby a lot. Kate and I did a run last night and she got um Hive mind, rotten baby, and became guppy. And I was like, you know what? Rotten baby's pretty good. Razor blade, bruh. Um, yeah, I guess razor blade is probably worse than ghost baby. At first, I was gonna, I was gonna disagree, but then I realized I was probably just, you know, playing favorites with my own point there. I think you're right. I think razor blade is worse. Uh, speedball. Shot speed up is not the worst thing in the world, I guess. With uh, with these sights, they'll hit a little bit faster. We could jump over to that and open it, but I'd rather save our key for the shop. Unless there's like a nickel. This is alright. We could still use a damage upgrade as well, which is why I'm hoping that we get more deals with the devil, you know? That's that's why I took Ghost Baby. That's really like the devil's gambit right there. You can either take Ghost Baby and get deals with the devil in the future, or you could ignore Ghost Baby, save your HP, and be subject to the awful RNG, apparently, on Angel Rooms. Where you get, like, one Eternal Heart or two Spirit Hearts. Oh, thank you. So, help me out, chat. This is your chance to really uh, save my life here. What does Sharp Plug actually do? Because I see it come up so much in, like, what's your ideal synergy questions and stuff like that. And I still don't fully know what it does. I know that it, it charges your Spacebar item with something to do with health. But I don't know what it actually is. Just reroll the key on the angel room? Yeah, okay. I'll fight a boss just so I can reroll an item uh, from the angel. It uses two hearts and charges your spacebar item. Two health to use an item. Like, it, it's sharp plug. It's passive though, right? So it's not like it's... You need to be at zero charge. Hold R to find out. Oh, I used jump by accident there. I was really scared for a second, then I realized, who cares that I used jump there? That makes no difference whatsoever. Pay two hearts to charge an empty spacebar item. It's passive though, right? Oh, you, do you only use it once? Oh, you press space when you have no charge. Okay, I got it. Thank you, that's actually, uh, that's a really cool, uh, idea. I've, I've so rarely picked it up lately. Because I don't fully understand it. This is a terrible Mega Moth fight. Energy crystals, yada yada. You get the idea. Um, ooh. Yeah, I didn't really fully understand it, so I never really took it. But I wish that I had. And maybe if we end up getting uh, Krampus's head here, that's something we're going to want to take advantage of. If we get Lump of Coal, at least it's free. But I'm pretty psyched to have an uh, increased rate of fire from Blue Cap. I actually think Blue Cap is one of the best items that you can get. It's HP plus tier. It's kind of like, you know... Kind of like meat, but it's... Uh, tears instead of damage. Alright, lump of coal. Yay, he said it! I didn't realize that people love that so much. Let's see how these scythes grow as they go. Ah, they seem to get a little bigger. It's kind of hard to tell because they're spinning. Sharp plug plus healing bombs plus explosive tears equals infinite rerolls. Alright. Well, that's good to know. Hopefully it doesn't, uh... Well, that's a pretty cool item synergy here. Or, like, uh, aesthetic synergy here. Um... I, uh, da, 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 I forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to look for the secret room. NL knows there's a wiki, right? Of course I know there's a wiki, but don't you guys feel more useful answering the questions for yourself? Make, and plus, it's an easier way for me to kind of palette it as well. Hematemesis. Uh, can we use, like, no, we can't use Bad Trip. Balls of Steel's pretty good. I'm glad I came in here. 
And we'll blow this guy up. Should have taken BFF, you scum. I actually don't really like BFF, to be honest with you. Just don't buy the battery now because sharp plug won't work. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I, I probably would never have considered that myself. You can jump through the curse rooms? Is that true? I, if that's true, you think we can make this one? I don't think we can make this one. BFF is so good. BFF makes your followers better. I know what it does. But uh, I never considered it really that useful. BFF was the right choice. Yeah, we'll see. Wait until I get freaking uh, Satanic Bible or something like that before you say BFF is the right choice. I probably should have taken that red heart, huh? Oh, well. All right. NL, are you okay? BFF is awesome. I've never really discovered it doing good stuff for me. I don't know if you can jump through those curse rooms. You might be right. But you might also be just trying to have a giggle at my own expense. So I'm not going to sit there and try for it. My number one uh, tactic at the Binding of Isaac is just... This sounds like I'm trying to brag, but I'm not necessarily. Is just not needing to know all of the min maxi strategies necessarily. And just winning instead. I, I take the Charlie Sheen approach. You missed a hard scum. It was a one run. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I like to make things uh, more difficult than myself. Sir, I recommend you hits. I also like to live dangerously. Yo, I've been getting some messages. People were like, hey, Northern Lion, your Austin Powers accent really offends me. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I, I don't claim that it's good. That was, that was fantastic on my part there. I don't claim that it's good, but... It is the best. Okay, good. Stompy. Well, it's not Stompy, but it's Thunder Thighs. Uh, I like Thunder Thighs a lot. I don't necessarily love the speed downgrade, but I do like it. Ryan, are you going to unleash the egg? I uh, don't fully know what that means. But, uh, yes. The answer to that question is yes. Am I going to have an egg cam? Probably not, because, again, we keep, like, streaming fine for, like, two and a half hours, then we drop frames. So, uh, I'm, I'm trying to normalize, like, what's the problem. So I don't want to add in another thing here that could potentially change it. Can't wait for Family Man. How about you, NL? I don't want to spoil anything, but I've already played Family Man. Um, the, the video just has not gone up yet. So you'll get to see Family Man pretty dang soon. Now, I cannot really imagine a much easier boss than Gertie for us at this present point in time. Uh, that's not true, by the way. If the Hollow showed up, we would beat him in, like, two scythes. But uh, this is working pretty well as well. NL, I was wrong. It's 9 volt that breaks sharp plug, not the battery. I was wondering, because I was like, battery doesn't start you with a charge. It just lets you get an overcharge. Um, 9 volt does start you with a charge. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. I appreciate you uh, owning up to your your very minor error and uh, and coming in to, to say you know to help us get to some actual uh, information there. So, oh, Goathead, welcome back. I think the missing page two is really bad. Um, so here's the thing with Guppy's head is like I think Guppy's head is okay, but. If I use Guppy's head, will it cause me to take damage via sharp plug? No, because it'll, it'll... We can do it if we want... Okay, I got it. I'm going to take Guppy's head, head with me because I like it. Um, but uh, we can use Guppy's head with sharp plug if we want to. But we really should not. Alright. Take that, Goopy! I will. I know I realize I made a mistake to lose those uh, eternal hearts. It's no big deal. We'll all get through this together. I promise. If this scum gets guppy and doesn't have BFF, oh man. Yeah, that'll be a real problem for me because, uh, you know, it's not like I have... I know we could go back and get the ability... Oh, we have Stompy, right? Never mind. Um, I'm just going to use it right away. Then we'll use the Hanged Man to get this other one. Uh, because then I'll only have Scythes, right? I'll only have Scythes and the ability to generate flies consistently. How am I ever going to win a run if I'm, like, handicapping myself by not having BFF? On a guppy run. 
It'll never happen. BFF would have been so good right now. Wait, when did this big, uh, like, a hard-on festival for BFF start? You guys are very, very silly. That's what you are. Yeah, I, I didn't think BFF did anything for flies. I thought it was only um, a hive mind that did things for flies. I might be mistaken, but still, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Big ghost baby, think about it, NL. I'm thinking about it right now. And I am not that impressed. I'm going to leave this battery in case we get something a little better. I want to see all your stats, chat. Show me all these amazing runs where BFF has turned Ghost Baby into, like, a, a force of fucking nature. Stop saying that it's stompy when it's not. You know what? I'm going to keep saying that it's stompy, even though it's not, just to make you angry. Because I want you to gain some perspective on this planet. And uh, being mad about that simple of a of mistake is a very silly thing. How you, you're going to deal with all sorts of little uh, annoyances in your life. This should be one of the most minor ones for sure. What are you going to do when they go to the when you go to the grocery store and they don't have your favorite brand of margarine? You going to call a manager? I don't think so. You're just going to you're going to have to buy uh, you know, Basel instead of uh, no name. Ghost baby equals one run. Apparently Ghost baby is pretty good. NL, is it true that you feed pickles to your cats? No, that's um, I feed them I feed them cat food. Very very serious when it comes to the the health and you know wellness of my cats. I didn't realize, by the way, here's a little tip for you. I didn't realize cats are allergic to onions. Now, for the most part, it doesn't end up being a um, an enormous problem because like they'd have to eat something like 40 raw onions to in order to really incur serious ill health effects or something like that. However. If they eat something concentrated like onion powder or garlic powder, they're allergic to like every, every, everything in that family to varying degrees. Then they can have issues. So always keep your cats away from uh, from onions and onion powder. This is Deb Swan. All right, let's do it. Loki. Well, I'm not the world's most difficult boss, but if I get hit here, it'll be my loss to the Loki. L O K I Loki. It doesn't really rhyme the best, but it gets the job done. All right, Goathead, I love you. And Pentagram, I love you. Don't even give me this shit like if I had BFF, I'd be all over Brother Bobby right now. I know people are going to say it, but I just want you to know that you are all high as hell and I hate you. I'm not taking Book of Belial either. Normally, I would be in like Who Dares Wins mode because there's so many batteries. But at the same time, I, uh, ooh, at the same time, I, uh, don't want to lose any more HP. Man, I hate this room. I know there's skulls down there, but I can barely walk away. You'd be all over Brother Bobby. Brother Bobby is OP. This is my least favorite change to the Isaac meta that I've ever experienced in my, my young life playing this game. Brother Bobby and Ghost Baby are now good? I don't think so. I, I remain a contrarian there. Could blow those up. Uh, let just stomp this bridge open here. Yeah, I mean, golden chests are really good for us now. Oh, the Joker card. That's, um... It's not a, very useful, but if we get some more, we could use it to teleport out of the curse room, I guess. We could use it to teleport out of the boss rush room if we go super quickly. I was actually really hoping we'd fight greed here. In fact, I think we should use it to try to, oh no, but if we try to use it to teleport out of the boss rush room, we'll just have to walk back in. But I think then we can just leave. Alright, let, let's try to be very fast here then. We've already been to our shop, and there's our item room. Maggie's bow is HP. What is the you feel healthy aspect of this, by the way? I don't see any point in using the Joker on the Cathedral, because I should get a deal with the Devil on the Cathedral anyway, right? He can still get Brother Bobby. I'm not getting Brother Bobby, you guys. You are, you're silly. You are very silly. You can Joker in the Cathedral. I know, but what's the, what's the point? Like, I'm, I have Goathead, so I'm going to get it anyway. Red Hearts heal for more than normal. Ooh, you get double. That's pretty good. I didn't know that, actually. Oh, this is like your ideal room when you got this item. I forget what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Stompy. I mean, that's definitely what you do, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But we're not going to crack this shit open yet, because we're going to... You know what? This is actually... You might not love this use of this card. But I kind of like it. So, uh, I did take damage there, I think, a little. Then we'll leave. We got uh, Daga's Rune. This is a spirit heart. 
We got a Jera rune, which allows us to double the drops from like everything. We got two Jera runes. If we use this, does this give us two Jera runes then on this room? No, it gives us two Joker cards. It's, this is very weird. Um, but for now, it's 18 minutes. I'm just going to try to fight the boss as soon as possible. So I'm going to forsake consumables and stuff like that. It's too bad that the Jera rune doesn't double itself. That could have some cool synergies. Alright. And this is our item room. I mean, while we're here, we might as well make use of our item room, I guess. We also got Abel, which is probably the best item in the game. Uh, Lazarus' rags, acceptable. Oh, I haven't been using Guppy's head for a while. That's me being an idiot. Uh, and I don't think the jar is that good. I don't think the jar is that good. There's our boss room. Thank you, Liberty Cap, I think, for allowing us to see everything, unless I'm missing something. So I think we get the item from the boss rush here. Abel is OP with BFF. I hate you guys so much right now. Yeah, we're definitely going to get the boss rush room. Now, if there's anything worthwhile, we'll try our weird-ass Joker gambit. I don't know if it's going to work out that well for us, but we're going to give it a shot at the very least. Still kind of coming to terms with how um, we end up scumming this boss rush room. Usually you get, like, one good item in there, though, so it's worth it if you can do it. Oh, that was pretty rough damage. Truth be told, our HP is in a pretty dire spot, so I'm not loving. Uh, I'm not loving our HP right now. We don't have Revenge Fly, by the way. We have like the other one that I never know what to call it. Revenge Fly is actually good. This one is just decent. So we're gonna not take High Priestess. We're gonna take the Polaroid. Then we're gonna take the Joker card. We're gonna walk in here. We're gonna see. We got Juicy Sack. And uh, my best friend, or, you know, Punching Bag. Punching Bag's alright. I kind of like Juicy Sack, though. <laughs> so then we'll teleport out. And, uh, sure, we'll take a free a bit. Well, not free, but we'll take an ability to fly. Relatively cheap. And then we shouldn't have to fight these bosses. Yeah. But we also can't leave. So I did miss out on the Jera rune a little bit, but... If I, I was going to say, if I go back in here, can I take, like, uh, the other one? No. BFF would have been amazing with any of those items. You guys are, you're silly individuals is what you are. Curse of the Labyrinth, okay. Well, I do wish, uh, I do wish I'd been able to get the Jera rune out of that. Oh well, though. We're in a very difficult position. I do really okay damage. It's not even that amazing, it's just it's pretty okay. Uh, and defensively, I think I'm all right right now, but uh, kind of lacking in the, you know, confidence department. You have nine familiars, bet you wish you had BFF. I don't, I don't give two S's about BFF, to be honest with you. Thank God I just paid for the ability to fly, because we didn't just get it for free with an HP upgrade attached to it. But would I have actually opened up that golden chest if I didn't have the ability to fly? That's a good question. There's a tinted rock back there? All right, I'll, I'll take your word on it. I'll go back and look. Now let's do the, the math here. Where is my tinted rock? I'm trying to look for the little tiny X. It might not even be on this room. It might have been on this room. Just a little tiny X somewhere. I need Kate to find these for me, to be honest with you. NL, are you telling me that for 7 to 15 cents, you prefer not to have OP familiars. I took Sharp Plug because I thought we would get a spacebar item that synergized better with Sharp Plug. My mistake. We didn't have unlimited money back there, chat. I wish we did. It's in that room, top left rock in the middle section. Alright. Top left rock in the middle section. Middle section. Top left. Oh yeah, there. Even knowing like your directions there, it took me a second to be like, "Where is this shit?" That's how terrible I am at finding tinted rocks at this point in the game. Eh, devil card might beat high priestess. Now we, uh, you might want to crush all these rocks, or you might not want to crush all these rocks. It's a, it's a bit of a conundrum. Some of them do explode. Like the polyps, we could just we could just choose to not attack those ones, um, but they can also drop items. So maybe we do want to attack those ones. I don't know. And you know, some of them might give us access to uh, you know black markets, but it might also take up a little bit more of our time. You know, you know what I mean. So I'm a little skeptical of, of 
crushing all the rocks at this point. But if we find more tinted rocks, you can shout them out. And now, which are you doing? Blue Baby or MD? I don't know what MD is, but uh, we're going for the Blue Baby run. BFF also increases the number of flies that spawn via Guppy's head. Are you just... Oh, now I'm going to get BFF. It lowers your cholesterol. BFF. It uh, helps you refinance your home at a low rate. Like, what, what the fuck is BFF? If you use BFF for 15 minutes a day while you're cooking a pizza in your oven, you'll lose 10 pounds an hour. Like, excuse me. Pop up, please. Nick is not dead, probably. Um, there's a storm coming in uh, his area. So his power was flickering on and off. So he, I, I said, hey, you know, if your power's flickering on and off, I don't want a powder situation happening here. Either either Powder the Movie or Daniel Powder, the Canadian singer-songwriter with his number one smash hit, Had a Bad Day. I think it's just called Bad Day. Chat, what does Swallowed Penny do? I've had it a couple times, and I've picked stuff up, and I've been like, I don't get it. No stars. Oh, that was not very good. Power flickering on and off should have picked up BFF. You guys are, you're in a silly case right now. BFF gives you hair? Then I definitely don't want it. I like my low maintenance hairstyle. Oh, Swallowed Penny gives you money when you take damage. All right, that's good to know. Oh, I forgot. I could crush all this stuff. Oh no, oh good. Another message on Skype. Let's see what kind of a uh, riveting conversation is coming out today to make my frame rate drop. All right, I'm gonna sign out of that. I think it's a, like a video card issue for me that when people message me on Skype, it lowers my frame rate. Earlier today, I had my frame rate drop like crazy because Mathis was talking about Dungeon Defenders 2. I was like, man, you gotta, you gotta get your priorities right. All right, so there's some HP for us. Um, Tinted Rock next to Judgment. Careful. You were right. I didn't even see that, even though I knew that that one must be it. That's how bad I am at looking for these. Yo, bitch, man, this is in chat. Yeah, I called your ass out in the video, too. I was like, let's see what kind of riveting, important message is causing my uh, Skype to crash today. Or not Skype to crash, but uh, Isaac to get super framey today. And it was uh, Mathis saying, hey, do you want to play Dungeon Defenders 2 with me? And then Quill saying, I kind of like the first one. Like, that was... That's what you guys are destroying my livelihood for, was riveting conversation like that. Anyway, I think we're in a pretty good position to fuck over Daddy Long Legs, um, to the point where he'll probably be dead before I even finish this sentence. Well, basically on time. I'll take the HP, don't mind if I do. Mom's heart doesn't strike me as an enormous problem. Mas Mathis was messaging you because you didn't take BFF. Alright, you guys, it's getting a little ridiculous right now. What's your tier list for, for Rebirth? BFF, number one, then everything else. Just like BFF, followed by fucking, you know, I'm trying to think of other stuff that I hate that other people like. The Jonas Brothers. No, um, I don't really care about the Jonas Brothers, to be honest with you. They've, it's been a while. I was not of the age where I should have cared about the Jonas Brothers the first time around anyway. Um... It usually goes the opposite. I have a lot of items I like that other people hate. I pick up anti-grav tears every time it shows up. I pick up tiny planet every time it shows up. It comes back to bite me in the ass occasionally, but... Um, you know, I pick up Ludovico technique every time it shows up. Monstro's lung, cursed eye, sign me up. Oh, that was so bad. Uh, I want Edmund to design a challenge in, like, the expansion that is, like, cursed eye, doctor's remote, Book of Revelations or something. It's not. No, I want it to be harder than that. I want like Cursed Eye, Monstro's Lung, Ludovico Technique, Tiny Planet. Enjoy. I don't even know how that would work. I think I have had Cursed Eye and Ludovico Technique together. All right. Well, we got enough keys to make do on the chest anyway. Northern Lion, try to go for uh, Mega Satan. I can't really, honestly, like. The only time you really have control over it is if you have had Dad's key or you've gotten a lot of angel rooms spawning. 
So, like, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. I mean, if Dad's Key shows up, maybe I'll fight Mega Satan. But the odds of Dad's Key showing up are pretty much nil, especially with, like, no more rerolls. Alright, I'm happy with the HP. BFF makes your challenge idea real. This is some, this is some wild discourse and propaganda here, chat. Now, I'm really, really hoping we get uh, kind of carried on the chest. We're in an okay position right now. Like, our damage is really good. And our HP is acceptable. Uh, but it could go could go south. I think this might be the right way. If we make it to the chest, though, then we get four items. I've been getting the wafer on the chest like crazy. Which is awesome. Uh, don't get me wrong. I just wish I could, you know, guarantee myself that luck in the future. Like, the wafer on the chest is, is an incredibly useful drop. BFF kills Mega Satan in one hit. <laughs> that would actually be hilarious if that actually worked. There is no reason why it should. But it... Oh, I forgot I crushed Rock, so he can totally just get to me. Alright, fair enough. Um, I don't know. Like, Liberty Cap is not going to win you the game. But neither is Goat Hoof. Like, our speed's a little lower thanks to Thunder Thighs. Sorry, I mean Stompy, but... Uh, that's not so bad. NL, will you play Smash again with Kate? I would love to, yeah. People were suggesting Smash for this stream, but the, the Wii U's not in this, not, not in my quote-unquote office, aka our bedroom. It's in the... <laughs> yeah, that damn right, the bedroom's my office, ladies. Um, but uh, seriously, that is where I do some of my best work. I am a renowned sleeper. Uh, the, the Wii U's not in here, so it's not going to be part of today's docket, but anytime Kate wants to stream Smash, I'm, I'm content to play it. I, uh... That's really bad play right there. Uh, I'm I'm digging uh, digging Smash thus far. Still got a long way to go before I'm even like a halfway mediocre, which feels bad because I did really sincerely play so much Brawl uh, and and so much 64. I, I skipped out on Melee, which apparently was the wrong choice, and I have never lived it down ever since. So Isaac's kind of shitting on me. Uh, I should have remembered. The classic Northern Lion uh, advice, which is you use your Devil card on Isaac, because then you can get carried on the chest. You, it's not worth it to um, it's not worth it to carry your uh, your Devil card to the chest if you could have beaten Isaac with it. This is not a good place for me to be. Please stop firing. I don't like you anymore. We're safe here. This run's not over by any stretch of the imagination. This Isaac's not so bad, man. It would be nice if we could guarantee our... Oh, no, 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 no. Now we might be oh, fucked. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> oh, Lazarus' Rags. Chulimta, thanks for the subscription in the meantime. But yes, Lazarus' Rags, I forgot about you. Probably should have even popped the Devil card a little bit later. Oh, it's coming for me, isn't it? Oh, snap. We're still alive. It's like that Pearl Jam song. Oh my god, we lived. <laughs> Woo! Down to the next floor. Well, we only lost like, um, you know, 9 HP in the process there. Oh, yeah. Tell Cursed Eye. Alright, time to finally put my money where my mouth is. Well, we did actually get a pretty nice assortment of items here, to be honest with you. Um, I'll take it because I'm stupid. Let's do it. Oh, snap. I kind of love slash hate this visual effect because it looks ugly as sin. You're fucked. You might be right, by the way. I'm, I may or may not be totally fucked. We can still get carried, though. Man. Oh, that's bad. Scythe's... Plus, Cursed Eye is ugly as sin. Okay. Good, good. Now we can get, like, quintuple damage from hitting all these guys at the same time. Abel, could you possibly, like, save my life here? Somehow? I don't know how. Just think about it. Excuse me. Fuck off, please. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. He's fucked unless BFF shows up. You guys think you're real fucking funny. Alright. 
Most important thing, don't die against Gertie. If you die against Gertie, you, you die in real life, or at least, you know, you, you feel like it. You could win if you got B. I'm not pressing the space bar. It's going to freaking kill me with sharp plug just to get one black card that I won't even get. Y'all are silly. I, just, I figured we'd pop it down just in case, like, Dark Bum shows up on this room or something silly like that. Now, this room could fuck with me pretty easily. I really need to kill uh, Death. Because these sights are going to ruin my shit. I have to... <gasps> Ooh, okay, <laughs> no problem then. I have to fire against Death to get these sights out of here. Okay, now that... Where things are a little bit more taken care of here. No problems. No problems whatsoever. Couple more rooms, and then I get Satanic Bible charged up. Greed can... You can ruin your shit. This Keeper's pissing me off. Get off the screen, buddy. You're telling me you can take, like, four Scythe hits to the face? I don't think so. I'm real mad about that, because I was doing pretty well. Oh, so, 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 so. oh! I thought I was actually gonna be able to make that one happen. Dang it, Bobby! <sighs> if only I'd taken BFF. Thanks, by the way, to the miter dropping zero red hearts on five rooms, or sorry, zero spirit hearts. Oh well. Um, that was a pretty good try. I think we're gonna run a quick ad break and then we'll come back and play GeoGuessr. And maybe, um, you know, we'll play like an hour of GeoGuessr, we'll do Spelunky Daily Challenge. And then if, uh, if we have time, maybe we can fit in another Rebirth round at the end. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And, uh, well, that's my YouTube sign off. What I mean to say is I'll be back in three minutes. Thanks for watching.
Hello, everybody! Welcome back. Let's uh, go back to this screen and then take that screen off. And I'm going to add screen region and we'll try to put up a little bit of ye old GeoGuessr here. We should have some seeded runs a little bit later. I'm just waiting for some uh, custom seeds to come in. In the meantime, let's uh, try to figure out where we are. I'm going to... Oh, it's crackling. Okay, okay. How about now? How about now, though? How about now? Um, give me a second here. I'm just going to go back to my overlay. I'm going to close Isaac so we don't have that sad music in the background the whole time. Uh, and let's uh, let's get going here. Boo -boo. Okay. So this is where we started. And I'm going to tell you right now that I believe we are in the Pacific Northwest. But let's see what the sign says. I didn't say the Pacific Northwest of North America. No, that's that's straight up Canada right there. I would say that we were probably like in the Yukon. There are uh, moose within zero to one kilometer, or maybe it means those moose are zero to one kilometer big, which would be huge, unless they were zero, in which case, you know, less so, I guess. Um, let's see where we are. This could be other parts of the of the country, but I'm pretty sure this is Canada. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this is not Canada. Lomsasandin. Well, we know that... Um, well, it could still be Canada. I want to go down here to see if there's a bunch of Volvos. <laughs> That's how I try to determine like the Pacific Northwest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is super... A European sign. So, and, and I think that's a Volvo as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and say that we're um, probably in usually Norway or Sweden. Game is a big uh, Finnish kind of love as well. Can we go down the trail here? No, we can only go backwards from here. Norway as fuck. Hey, don't say that's not the Pacific Northwest. Norway is the northwest of Scandinavia. I, the reason I don't think this is Finland, and maybe this is a stereotypical thing to say, is there's not a lot of V's in that word. Whenever I see a Finnish word, you know, it's typified by having a lot of V's in it. Like, it's Ver, Verhoeven. Welcome to Vulander Verhoeven. Next to Helsinki, which has no V's in it, but that's just because they're trying to trick you. Um, I'm going to check out one more sign, <laughs> then we'll make a prediction. Not this sign. That sign was just an X. She's just like, don't go here, but the Google car doesn't care. Let's see if we can... Okay. okay. Shodnis... Shodnis Vine... Loshazvnivin... And Losh... <laughs> I'm not laughing at the names. I'm laughing at my own pronunciation. So this, this to me is... Um, it, it almost makes me think it could be like a little, little Swedish, and I I don't really know where it would be, but maybe I'll follow my hunch and go to Norway. In a greenish area, let's say it's near Alasund. Oh, that's not so bad actually. I didn't realize it would be so far south, but hey, that's that's pretty good. I would have to have zoomed in pretty far to find that, I think. But hey, that's not so bad. All right, what about this one? We got some hills. Looks to me to be uh, South America by the the foliage and the the architecture, the language. So this is where I always get in trouble because I say, "Oh, that's Materius Constructsau. That's uh, Spanish," and then people go, "It's not Spanish, Northern Lion. It's Portuguese." I'm not saying the languages are the same, but what I will say is that they're very similar to someone who doesn't speak either of them. Uh, the fact that it says BRA definitely makes me think that we're in Brazil. Um, Brazil is automatically like a hunch when you end up on uh, when you end up in what you think is South America. Can't really read that too well um, because the game loves Brazil. There's a lot of Brazil uh, in GeoGuessr. 
It's a Volkswagen. Maybe we're actually in Germany. Just kidding. So I don't really know how I'm going to... I mean, that's the other thing. We could be in Portugal, but... The sign that said BRA, combined with the fact that this looks like either Spanish or Portuguese to me, uh, definitely makes me think that we're in not Portugal. Um... I think I'm just gonna probably just take some place in Brazil. Usually in Brazil, like I don't have a pretty good guess, so I'll just take like a city. There you go, Brasilia. Probably I maybe mean, slightly outside of Brasilia. We were super far away, but uh, not so bad considering that Brazil is like the fifth largest country on earth. All right, there's another one that doesn't seem to be too good for me. I'll explain my thinking. The houses are up on uh, sticks here. They're up on, on posts, which makes me think that we're in maybe Southeast Asia, a part of the world more known for uh, tsunamis and uh, just in general flooding as opposed to, uh, you know, other parts of the world. My gut would tell me South America, but the, the fact that the houses are all up high makes me think this is in like a flood region. So I'm, I'm going to go more likely to say somewhere in Southeast Asia. What I will say is that Southeast Asia is not a super common GeoGuessr location. So that gives me a little bit of pause. But, it, you know, this looks kind of like... Looks kind of like it could be typical for the region. Um, said as someone who has never been to Southeast Asia, so cut me some slack there. I, I just want to see, like, a sign. What are you driving, mate? That is, I think it's just due to the way the picture is taken, but that's like the coolest vehicle of all time. It looks like a tractor you pedal. Like an incredibly long wheelbarrow tractor. What the fuck is this? This is the greatest vehicle I have ever seen in my whole life. What is this? Can someone explain to me what this vehicle is? It looks like a, some kind of transforming recumbent bicycle. I am... <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm into it. All right, let's see what the language maybe on this umbrella looks like. Beeline. Oh, so we must be in an English-speaking country right now. Um, it's got bottled water. Looks like maybe some candy. I don't want to know what that is. Damn, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. Don't tell me this guy's got the same thing going on. What are they? Is that just full of rocks? I was hoping, like, I'd see a crop. I don't know what it would do. Like, I would see, oh, turnips. Those only grow in Laos, right? Like, I don't know what I was planning on there, but I thought it would give me some kind of contextual clue at least. Excuse me, come back here, sir. Look, I got to go with someplace in Southeast Asia, I think. Um, yeah, okay, someone in chat said, Beeline is a Russian-based telecom company. It's maybe um, a little bit short-sighted, but it's the only clue I have to go on. I'm going to guess that it's in Vietnam. Although, uh, originally my hunch was Bangladesh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Vietnam because there were communist, you know, forces there. And, uh... I'll say that we're in near, like, Ho Chi Minh City, I guess. Ah, so it was in Cambodia. It's not too far away. It was not so bad. Okay, this looks immediately like North America. This is... This is what Rush wrote songs about, you know? This is suburbia right here. Sort of. Not really suburbia, actually. This is the country. Okay. Rush still wrote songs about it. Let's see our roads here. This could help us out determine whether we're in Canada or the United States. Wilsonia Avenue, Willwood Drive. All right, let's um, let's try to find like a major road because I want to see uh, I want to see speed limit signs, if possible. Can we go down here? All right, let's see if we can let's see if this leads to like a major thoroughfare or something like that where we can find some speed limit signs. 
That's oh miles per hour thirty. So we're in the U.S. All right. So my my thinking is that we're um, maybe in the Midwest. Twenty miles per hour. Now we're not going to get much of a clue from like people's last names or something here, but you never know. There are like pockets of certain uh, you know ancestry in the U.S. that could help you out. Dunham Springs. All right, so I'm thinking like I don't know. I'm thinking like Arkansas or something like that because I remember when I was a kid, I used to play Where in the World Is Carmen San Diego. And Little Rock, Arkansas was known for, like, a hot spring or something. And uh, Dunham Springs. I mean, I know there's, like, Colorado Springs and Saratoga Springs and stuff like that. In fact, like, this this kind of makes me feel like Saratoga because it's uh, a little bit wealthier. I know Saratoga's oh, – Dunham Springs is, like, the name of a, the villa or something like that. Um, but uh, I know that Saratoga Springs is known for horse racing, which is a little bit more of a – wealthy kind of pastime so i don't know right now i have it somewhere narrowed down between either upstate new york or the rest of the united states i'm not going to google the name of the street that kind of defeats the point of playing the game um you know what i i originally said arkansas where is my arkansas ad right here so I'll, i'll say it's little rock Oh, it's Nashville, Tennessee. As as far as the United States goes, that's not that bad. Like, to be off by that much, that's okay. I think we've had a fairly solid round. Oh, my God. What is that? This is a... No, that's a mannequin, too. Okay, I thought that was a real woman, like, having a conversation with this mannequin. All right. Well, starting inside is very interesting. There's usually a lot of clues. Vergeese. My nacht. My nicht. This is... Probably Germany. Do you see the size of this fucking URL? Oh my god. It's Ronaldo. I like that. Well, there's postcards. There's postcards. This is like a tourist location. This could be useful. Is that is that Dusseldorf? Church of Dusseldorf? Do you think it's Dusseldorf in German? I wouldn't know. I don't speak German, but I figure these postcards are pretty useful. Zuladorf. Zuladorf. That could be Dusseldorf in German. I don't know. This postcard. People fucking love this one. I wish I could see what that is. Bernau. I don't know what that means. Bernau. Why did Google take photos of the interior of this building? It looks like a pretty dope restaurant. You gotta admit. Um, I don't know what this landmark is. I'm going to have to go with Dusseldorf. It's the only city I know that ends in Dorf. Stendorf. Let's try it. Dusseldorf. Boom, baby. Oh, okay. It was actually in Berlin. Still, I consider that to be pretty good. 17,139 points. That's not so bad. Give me a second here to see if seeded runs have come in. I thought we did okay there. Ah, here we go. Here are five seeds for you. This is, uh... Ah, okay. I like this one. This is RWO 120's Canada Challenge. Challenge accepted. So we... These are all Canadian areas. Let's give it a try here. So straight up. This... You know, it's got some Vancouver love going on with its, uh... You know, freighters in the city here. But this does not look like Vancouver to me, really. Caesar's Palace? Where the heck are we here? This could be like... It could still be in British Columbia, but it could also be in in the east somewhere. East of Vancouver is pretty much everywhere. Senior living, Continuum Corp. That sounds like some kind of extended life stuff. Sorry, these signs can be very helpful. Injured? Protect your legal rights. Greg Monfortin and partners. Well, luckily, um, I'm very familiar with Mr. Monfortin. This is quite clearly Timmins, Ontario. See if we can find, like, um, 
anything, basically, here. Why do they try to block out, like, sh and s Um... Okay, well, let's, let's be straight here. It's a port city. It looks like a port city, anyway. So that means... It has to be either on the Pacific, the Atlantic, or the Great Lakes, or the St. Lawrence River. That narrows it down to, well, not the prairies and, like, that's about it. Not Nunavut, not um, the Yukon. This really does not look like BC to me. Where do we, are we turning into this driveway? Um, I'm gonna guess... I guess it's near the St. Lawrence. Or, sorry, I mean the Great Lakes here. I've actually never been great with Canadian geography. Um, maybe London? London's not really on the water. Uh, I'll say Hamilton then. Let's give it a try. There's not really a river running through. It's like a lake there. I'll try Hamilton. I missed a bus with the city on. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's not so bad. We got Hamilton, 276 kilometers away. This is... This is the fucking Pacific Northwest, dog. Put this shit on a postcard. Get ready. This is, this is what I see when I look at my window every day. Oh, actually, this isn't the Pacific Northwest. I'm pretty sure this is Lake Louise in Alberta. But it looks like the Pacific Northwest, dog. Where's Lake Louise at? It's like in Banff or something? I think it's in Banff. It's in Banff, like right here. Yeah, that was pretty close. Oh, there's it actually says Lake Louise on the map. Still, it could have been better, but that was not so bad. Okay. Lake Louise is kind of like a Canadian um, geographical icon, which is how I knew specifically what lake it was. Um, not Banff. It's Banff. Is that the American flag? Or is that just like the flag of a camp or something? I know we're in Canada, but if there was an American flag, that could give me some clues. Isn't Pacific Northwest Kanye West's daughter? I like that. Um, this, this could be anywhere right now. Okay. We're in, straight up in suburbia. They don't grow these trees many places in Canada. What the fuck? If we're in Canada, what are you doing with a palm tree? Come on, dog. That shit is not gonna... The, there's only like two places where you can have a palm tree. Like, if you, if you really, really put a lot of love into it, probably Vancouver or Victoria. But this does not look like Vancouver or Victoria to me. What is going on out here? What what are you doing? There's only one province in Canada that you could even possibly keep a palm tree alive in. It's got to this has got to be like White Rock BC or something. I've never been on Vancouver Island, so I don't know. This could also be like Nanaimo or something like that, but There's there's almost no doubt in my mind that we're in BC. 778, that's a fucking BC area code, bitches. Yeah, 778. I even think that's the Vancouver area. So, it, it's definitely near Vancouver. Surrey. Oh, we're in Surrey. Man, what are you doing growing a palm tree in Surrey, man? That's just going to make you a target. Here we go. Surrey, way down in here. Um, we could probably look for a street sign. 174th Street. Okay. Gotta just give it a minute here. Um, we're going down here. 156th. 60th. 173rd. 175th. Where's 174th? 
We're 174. Oh, it's probably like they don't even have it on the map yet because it's so new. Or maybe it's this one. We were 18 kilometers away. Oh, what? It was it was actually in White Rock? I guess Surrey. What? Oh, my God. Well, it's still only 18 kilometers away, but still. All right. Wendy's Tim Hortons. This right away to me looks like Oshawa. This this is like this could easily be somewhere in Ontario. Oh, actually, it looks maybe a little bit more like parts of Toronto, but it looks like Kipling. This is straight up Toronto. Yeah, this is like not Toronto maybe, but Mississauga, Dunbar Street. Dun sorry, Dundas Street Grill. Yeah, okay, we're in Toronto. So I'm not gonna get too picky with my actual uh, placements here. Where's uh, Dundas though? There's Dundas Street East. And what was the other one? Kipling. Dundas is a super long street, by the way. I'll just say that we're like... Kipling's pretty big, though, isn't it? Say that we're like here. 16 kilometers away. Not too shabby. And... All right, this looks like it will. Are we in a zoo right now? Whole country's a zoo, man. Polar bear. This this does not look like Vancouver. I will tell you that much. The polar bear keeper. Aurora borealis weather station. Radar dish. This is a game we call radar dish. What is this guy? Let's, let's judge him completely. What the fuck is that? There's some Pacific Rim shit going on there. Look, because there's Aurora Borealis, I am assuming that we're in the north. What's the tundra? That seems to imply that maybe we're in the Yukon. Even though it doesn't look super P and... Oh. Hudson Bay Freighter Canoe. That, now, you might be saying, we must be near Hudson's Bay. To me, by the way, this just looks like a fucking shitty boat. No, no love lost there on my country. But um, you might be saying, that must mean we're near Hudson Bay. But uh, Hudson Bay is enormous and uh, is, again, kind of like a Canadian geographical touchstone. They'll, uh, but the Caribou Cafe, I'm going to say... I'm going to say we probably are in northern Ontario. Maybe like... Uh, that's not where I mean to be. Like Thunder Bay or something like that. Like up here. Because this is Hudson Bay. There, like, Hudson Bay is fucking huge. By the way, dog. This is Hudson's Bay. This is the Northwestern Passage you've seen so much about. Um, so, what's the closest city that is kind of, like, on Hudson's Bay? Because this place, it gets fucking chilly up here, dog. There's, like, Winnipeg. But even Winnipeg is super south of it. Iqaluit doesn't even show up on the map. I know, zoos have to be in big cities. Big-ish cities, at least. There's, like, Polar Bear Provincial Park. Do a little bit more exploration, maybe. There's no cities that make me that make me like this. Waterside Theater. African Penguin Exhibit. Maybe we're just in the Tundra Exhibit, and that's making me think it's more north than it is. North. Camel Rides?! The fuck are you talking about camel rides? We're in the Yukon, baby. You're gonna die. Oh, c come on. In that's like an in Indonesian Indo pavilion of some kind. This is a huge zoo. There is no way this is outside of a major city. I've been to the Vancouver Aquarium. This is not the Vancouver Aquarium. Maybe like the municipal garbage cans. Sometimes they have like a city slogan or something on them. Come on. Work with me here. Look, I, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Seriously, though. Oh, wait, oh, Tundra Trek. 
so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's like Toronto, because the Toronto Zoo is, I think, the largest zoo in the country. But why the fuck is nobody here? Oh. What? Where did you guys come from? I like that they seem to be selling beer here as well. All right, I am going to say it's the Toronto Zoo. That is freaking me out, man. All right. It's it's like Toronto or Winnipeg, I think. Oh, apparently. Wait, did I pick like the middle of Lake Ontario? If so, that was pretty silly of me. Uh, still, it was the Toronto Zoo. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We got a lot of points there. Twenty one thousand five hundred seven. That was a nice uh, trip down uh, down Canadian geography lane there. By the way, all these seeds come from. Ather Games, youtube.com slash Ather Games, I think, who also does uh, a bunch of GeoGuessr stuff. So, I've been putting this one off for a long time because it intimidates me. But let's do this one. This is Taylor Kroghan's Lighthouse Challenge. So, all of these, I think, are going to have lighthouses on them. And now, do you prefer controller or keyboard for Binding of Isaac? I use uh, I use keyboard, but I use controller when uh, when Kate plays and I do co-op. And I think it controls fine with controller as well. It's personal preference. Hmm. Maybe like not look at the ground here. Uh, straight up, no idea where we are right now. I don't even really have a hunch, except that um, I'm thinking maybe Atlantic Canada, but maybe I'm just still on that Canada track right now. No language indicators kind of scare me. Um, the staircase is pretty wild. Um, gonna take us a while to get up here. If we can at least see like a person and what they're wearing, and maybe if they have like a anything they're holding in their hands, like a food item or a, a travel guide or something. I don't think we're going to catch up to anybody, though. All right, well, I am thinking that um, I mean, this looks like Atlantic Canada to me. It could also be fucking Scotland. It could also be who knows, right? There is a sign there, I think. We can at least get a language. The red here still makes me think PEI a little bit. Thank you. For having the smallest fucking font of all time. I really appreciate that. You have to fall off the edge just to fucking read it. This is NL Plays Dear Esther. Yeah, it looks Dear esther -y. I'll give you that. There's so many places on earth this could be. I know this isn't Australia, because we're using a good camera. The Google cars, they know Australia is so dangerous, they don't even send... This isn't a car, by the way, but they don't even send in good equipment, because a, a wallaby will probably eat it. That sounds like I'm being offensive, but it's just the truth. Like, they, they really, usually in Australia, use the shitty cameras. So what is that? Is that a fucking dolphin? Or is that a... That's a bird. I can't believe I thought that was a dolphin jumping out of the water for a second. All right. I don't, is that a, it's not like a platypus, is it? It looks like it's got a really flat beak. Maybe it is a doll. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm getting, when you're on the clock, it becomes harder, okay? I'm, I'm actually exhausted. Like, by the time we reach the top of the staircase, I'm going to need to take a little break for a second. I agree, Chad. I think it could be Ireland. Um, I just don't know yet. Yeah, open the door for us, you scumbag. You got any kind of, like, patches that I can read here it's a new species of BFF oh you funny you're funny alright I'll open this gate for you but don't show my face in GeoGuessr please again why are all these tourist attractions dead there's a bench but there's nobody here also why does your tourist attraction have no freaking signs. Also, what the hell is this? This is like some Prometheus shit. Oh, here we go. For your safety, keep off the lo rocks. Okay. 
So we're in an English speaking country. That really narrows it down. We can see like the brand on the telephone. I don't know, man. I thought that said pork resident. Pork park residents, please respect privacy of occupants. This place has some dope views, I'll give you that, but what is this? Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's the Google car. There is a um, Toyota. That doesn't mean shit. It's a reliable brand purchased the world over. I, I wish I could just see like one car. The Go Big Project. Is that like a hotel or something? Um, I'm I'm thinking that this is Scotland. You know, maybe we're in the Scottish Highlands. They speak English. Do they drive Toyota there? Probably. There are many other places in the world it could be. I will um I will grant you that. Like this does not look very Scottish to me though. Like this looks almost desert like. You're right, I should check the license plates. Where you running from, mate? Don't take a picture of me. I'm in a vulnerable moment right now. Move back just a little bit. Move back just a little bit. Move back just a little bit. Where, where did he go? We moved back too far. Uh, I don't know. This does not look like Scottish flora. But it's English. It's English, and it looks like the desert-ish. It's like, not cactar things, but those are like... Where do they speak English and also have a desert? Like New Mexico? Uh, it's not so bad. Point Reyes National Seashore. That was a beautiful looking area. Fuckload better than Albuquerque, New Mexico. This challenge is tough so far. This has to be Europe. What am I thinking? This like, uh, this gate. That stuff don't exist in North America. This car. What's up with your paint job, man? Did it hail here like really recently? Doesn't hail like that in North America. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're in, like, Scotland or Ireland. I'm pretty sure that that is Gaelic, which would put us in Ireland? I mean, that's Gaelic, isn't it? So, Kerry, Kerry Keel, Rosnakil, Tawny. I don't know why. I want to say Galway. Kerry Keel. Yeah, I'll say Galway. Why not? It's near the coast. It was the other coast. That's okay, though. I'm relatively pleased with that. This is... Didn't we have, like, lights like this before? This strikes me as, like, a... Oh, there's a Mercedes there. This strikes me as, like, a Mediterranean area. Like, this could be, um... This could be, like... Greece or Croatia or Italy, eh, like Turkey. Looks like they speak uh, Spanish, right? Well, if it's Spanish, then it could also just be Spain. What is on the coast of Spain? Premium cola. It could also be Portuguese, I'll admit. What is a premium cola? I don't know. It's 
some signs here might help out. I don't want to be too hasty. It's like an, this way is like an obelisk of what? Well, <laughs> okay. To me, it looks like it starts with a V. I've played enough Crusader Kings to know there's like Vallejo or something here, or um, Valencia. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, we were we did okay for the wrong reasons. I don't know what language this is, but it strikes me as maybe Polish. Or perhaps, like, Czech? That's like some straight-up Brandenburg shit right there. Okay. Let's keep moving on. I think I, I, I'm going to guess that we're somewhere in Eastern Europe right now. I don't think that's going to be a relatively, uh, you know, dangerous prediction. Stop looking at me, mate. I don't think we can move anymore. I'm going to guess that we're in Poland. Ah, oh, there is a, like, northern Polish coast here. Sure, why not uh, Gdansk? That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We're on the wrong side, but still, right country. Restored Keeper's Home, open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., this challenge is very difficult. Speak English. That should say... I thought that should said Texas. Nice plaid, mate. This could be the Pacific Northwest. Call to see a few people wearing the Canadian tuxedo over here. Let's try and just take a walk. Hey, baby. Take a walk on the wild side. Come to the lighthouse with me. Trail to Lake and Old Tramway. Tramway is not a word you hear too much in North America. But, if you were to hear it, you would likely hear it at touristy type places. Well, um, what does this look like to me? This looks like the... This looks the cover of a brand of potato chips called Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. Cape Cod is in Massachusetts, which is over here. I admittedly have never looked for Cape Cod. I assume that it's like this area down here, maybe? Or is this Rhode Island? I don't fucking know. It don't matter. Oh, there's Cape Cod. Yeah. Um, I'm going to guess that this is the Cape Cod National Seashore. No, I need to click on it, though. Like, we're in Eastham. Or sorry, Brewster. Now let's take Eastham. Oh, man. That was straight up like Duluth, Minnesota. I did not expect that one. Well, we Ooh, didn't do so well on the yeah. Lighthouse Challenge. Hey, hired help. Thanks for the subscription. Looking forward to seeing you a little later. That sounded wrong, but in Spelunky. All right. Uh, let's take Tokyo Sanchez's challenge. I'm ready. Tokyo Sanchez. Here we go. This looks like uh, uh <laughs> it looks like not North America. Initial hunches are like New Zealand. Ireland, Iceland, other parts of Scandinavia, Northern Europe somewhere is is my my basic guess here. How far are we going to have to go to gleam like one more piece of information here? Like what is That's an Icelandic flag, motherfucker, or is this Norway? I always seem to get that confused. I'm pretty sure that's an Icelandic flag. But I then I say it's Icelandic and people are like, no, that's Norwegian. Do I even know what the Icelandic flag looks like? <laughs> it's Norway, 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 Norway. 
What's the Icelandic flag? It's like this but blue or something. Or is that Finland? All right. It's a Norwegian flag. Well, all right. I'm going to say we're in like northern Norwegia. Or <laughs> northern Norwegia. We're in northern Norway. You can get super high up if you want to get down into Sval Svalbard. But uh, I don't think we're that high up. Where's the most northern Norwegian city? That looks a little bit too... Yeah, let's say we're in Trondheim. Shit, it was like uh, Akarere, basically. Well, I mean, as close to any city as you can get, it would be Akarere, probably. Because there's only two cities on the whole freaking island. The red and blue are switched on the Icelandic flag. Okay. Uh, so we're in, like, Akihabara in Tokyo. I guess this is maybe a pretty easy challenge. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know specifically where we are. I've never been to Japan. Sure, let's, um... Seems like a pretty easy choice. Tokyo. Admittedly, I don't know what, like, district it's in or anything like that. Tokyo's uh, pretty dense, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, there we go. Akihabara. Pretty lucky. It looks like we're near the station. Why don't we just, like, pop it down right there? You were 0 0.23 kilometers away. That was uh, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that one. That's closer than I got on the Vancouver one. Uh, this appears to be China. I know it because they're really renowned for the spaghetti house. <laughs> it's or th this might not be China. It might just be like a huge Chinatown. Ah, no, this is. Uh, I know this building. Are we in Shanghai? This is, there's two, uh, it's like Shanghai or, or Hong Kong or Taipei or like Macau or something like that. I know that building, man. The Langham. Well, there's a, there's a Langham Hotel in Boston. I don't think this is Boston, though. Please do not shit here. Okay. I'm just going to go with my first instincts. I'm going to say Shanghai. I'm looking for the other one. You know what I'm talking about. The tower that has like the big bulbous top. But I, my first uh, gut instinct was Shanghai, so I'm going to say we're in Shanghai. I don't know, you know how deep to get here. Let's just take the city center. Oh, shit. It was Hong Kong. Wrong... Uh Wrong area, mate. That's okay, though. I'm happy with this. Oh, snap. This is like... I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, we're in, like, the German aristocracy. Like, we're fucking General Ryan von Ulrich right now. The Earl of Brandenburg. There was a Berg up there. Um, it's Germany for sure. I see the flag. Hotel... Dranian, Oranienburg? Um, so, I'm thinking it's up here, um, like, I was actually thinking, like, Danzig, but that's more, that's, that's here, right? So, I'm thinking it's close to that. There's a place called Marienburg. The Bergs are... Oh, there's Monheim. That's not what I was looking for. Let's let's take a quick look around. Not sold yet. Chateau. Okay. There's a chateau here, guys, in case you're curious. I didn't think we could go down here, but... The arrows have proved me wrong. Now I'm starting to second guess myself because this is looking like some sound of music type stuff going on here. Sound of music took place in Switzerland. 